Hey guys, enabling SSH on your Raspberry Pi is super easy, especially when you have access to a monitor and a keyboard. But if you have an isolated setup and you don't have time to always plug in a monitor, it can be very difficult to do this just going in blind. So in this video, I'm gonna go over two different ways to enable SSH without plugging in any monitors or keyboards on your Raspberry Pi. For the first approach, let's say you've already set up the operating system on your Raspberry Pi, but then you decided to unplug the monitor and keyboard. No worries, because you can still turn on SSH by adding a simple file on your micro SD card. First, you need to turn off your Raspberry Pi and remove the SD card and then insert it into your PC or Mac. Unless your computer has an SD card port, you can do this using a USB SD card reader. For Windows users, once it's plugged in, let's jump inside the SD card drive. And we're gonna start the command prompt on this path by clicking inside the address bar and then starting CMD. Once it opens, make sure your CMD path is the same as the SD card's drive letter. And we're gonna run the following command to create an empty file called SSH. After that, you can jump all the way down inside this drive to see that the file got created successfully. And since we're done, you can now eject the SD card from your PC. For Mac users, go ahead and plug in your SD card. Be sure that it does appear as a drive in your list of locations. Now let's open up the terminal. And the first thing we'll do is run CD slash followed by the ls command you should see a directory called volumes let's jump inside that directory by running the cd command and then by running the ls command one more time you'll see two different drives the one we care about is the boot drive because that's the sd card let's cd into that directory and be sure to check your drive name in case it's any different from mine Finally, we just need to create an empty file called SSH. And you could do this by running the touch SSH command. You can now run exit so the terminal can let go of holding onto that drive. And if you quickly navigate to the bottom of that drive using finder, you should see that the SSH file now exists. Since we're done, you can now eject that drive and unplug it from your Mac. If you reinsert that SD card back into your Raspberry Pi, you can power it back on and SSH should now be enabled automatically when the Pi boots. Let's test this out on a Windows machine by using PuTTY. Always remember that the default host name is gonna be Raspberry Pi. And once you enter the credentials for your Pi user, you should be connected via SSH. For Mac users, you can SSH by opening up the terminal and then running the SSH command followed by your Pi user at the host name. Just give it a few seconds and you should be connected. And now let's go over a second way of enabling SSH without any monitors. The Raspberry Pi Imager tool provides a quick and easy way to do this before even writing the operating system image to your SD card. Once you have it installed, just plug in your Raspberry Pi's SD card and then open the Imager tool. And I'm walking you through this on my Mac but it should be exactly the same on a Windows PC. The first part is super straightforward because you are going to select your Raspberry Pi device model, then the operating system that you need installed, and then finally the SD card that you wanna flash the image to. But here is the super important step. When you click the next button, you have the option to apply OS customization settings. Click edit settings, and first we'll need to set up a host name. And just to test this out, I'm gonna be going with My Remote Pi, but you can call yours whatever you want. After that, definitely add a username and password to your Pi user. Make sure that you don't forget these. And finally, click the Services tab to see the part that we care about the most. Click this magic checkbox to enable SSH, and we'll stick with password authentication. So let's wrap up this process by clicking Save, and then yes to apply the OS customization settings. Give it another yes to confirm writing this image to the SD card. And now just sit back and relax for a few minutes while it's writing the image. And if you've done this before, it should start verifying it 
before the entire process completes. Once the write is successful, you can click continue and then remove the SD card from your computer. After that, plug that micro SD card back into your Pi and then turn it on. Just make sure you give it a few minutes to initialize because we just wrote this image. And the Raspberry Pi typically takes extra time during its first boot. So now, believe it or not, your Pi should have its SSH connection up and running without any monitors. I'm gonna first test this out on my Windows machine using PuTTY. And notice I'm using the same host name that I specified in the imager tool. And the same goes for the user credentials, which is pretty amazing because we were able to set this up during flashing. As you can see, the SSH connection now works on my Windows machine. I'll try the same thing on my Mac by first launching the terminal and then running the SSH command and feeding it the user and host name. Just type in a yes if it asks you to continue with the host. And as you can see, I'm now connected to my Raspberry Pi using an SSH connection from my Mac. The Raspberry Pi OS used to be shipped with SSH turned on by default, but that was a long time ago. And since 2016, they decided to disable it during setup because of security reasons. But at least now, you know how to SSH into your Raspberry Pi with or without a connected monitor or keyboard. Thanks for watching. And for more on the Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.